Hi, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today with my friends from AllFreeKnitting.com, I'm going to talk to you about dyeing yarn with tea. To start off, I've brewed, I'm brewing three different kinds of tea. A chamomile tea, a black lemon tea, and a fruity herbal tea to show you different colors that you can achieve from tea. Each of these tea bags are currently seeping in one cup of previously boiling water. I'm going to let these cool a bit because I want to get the most color out of the tea bags into the tea before I start dyeing the yarn. But you can certainly use the heat from the boiling water at the beginning to start dyeing your yarn from that point. Um, it's all about personal preference. So I will be back once I am done brewing my tea. All right, it looks like my teas are ready. So I am going to remove the tea bags. And now I need to add my acid source. Since we only have a cup of water or of liquid in each of these measuring cups, I'm going to add one teaspoon of white vinegar to each one. Well, all right, so I let actually over poured, so I added a little more than one teaspoon of vinegar, but it's not an exact science. Um, oh, I would like to stir these up. All right, now I have pre soaked my yarn just plain water and I'm going to gently wring them out and place them in each of the dye baths. Now the amount of yarn, um, it's four grams of 100% wool fingering weight yarn. All right, make sure that these are nice and submerged. Oh, whoops, I still have these wraps and skeins. I'm actually going to, um, well, hard one wet, but untwist and unwrap them. Could leave them in this, you know, in the twisted form, but the dye will, you can see that there's some white spot. They'll actually, um, can't believe I forgot to do that. All right. There we go, now we're ready. Okay, the teas are still a little warm, but it's not enough heat for the color to set. So therefore, I'm gonna move all of these samples to the microwave. All right. And I am going to microwave on high until the water starts to boil. So I've started with about three minutes and just when the water starts to boil, then we'll stop and turn off the microwave. It took about six minutes to come to a boil. I'm just giving you a peek at the different tea colors. And now there's the chamomile. Whoops, the chamomile back there. And we're now going to wait and let these cool before removing the yarn and washing it. Unlike other submersion dyeing techniques, we aren't going to expect the, the dye bath to clear because there are a lot of color molecules in tea and more that seem to absorb to uh, the amount of yarn. All right, my tea colors have cooled and I am going to um, remove them from the bath to wash them off in some lukewarm water. So this was the, the black tea. The chamomile. And the fruity herbal tea. Um, so you can see that there's a lot of color left back in these dye baths. So you can use this to dye more yarn. Um, or dye yarn in greater quantities than uh, 
yarn in greater quantities than four grams, because that's how much I started with here. And you can see we've got some very like subtle colors here, but they're the sorry, just to see that. The yarn does need washing um, with a tiny bit sorry, of my old soap just to remove any excess color. Um, you wouldn't want anything else to be stained. And the colors that you get, you can also try different amounts of vinegar to see how you can vary the color. But you'll get really nice, subtle colors from two. And I'll be back to show you the colors when everything has dried. Well, here we go. We have three different colors of yarn dyed by three different types of tea. We have a pale color from chamomile. We have a um, sort of pinkish brown from the fruity herbal. And we have a brown from the black tea. And just for comparison, here is some undyed wool. So even, whoops, let me just remove the tea bags. So you, there is some color that we got from the chamomile tea, even though it's very subtle. And I'll move this next to the other two types. So there you have it. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to dye yarn with tea. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and this video was brought to you by allfreeknitting.com.